Okay, well, we haven't done this for a few weeks. So. Um, so, as we're going to call it, the elephant in the room. Yes. The fire at Charlotte yes. has caused havoc yes. for many patients. So, what do you suggest we do? Well, I think that people need to be able to access home care. That's very important. And I believe, I haven't tried it, that the number says, please go to your nearest healthcare service. So I think if you go to a nearest healthcare service, you need to be able to tell people if you have a diagnosis. So I always tell the ladies here, if you need to make, you know, photograph on their phone, their biopsy report. And if you are an active oncology treatment, I believe that the service is available at Kusani Lara. So I think that people should go, okay. I do think that people need to push to get their treatments because we know what happens when they don't get their treatment. It's generally not happy, okay. Um, I believe that the radiation facilities are available in Pretoria. And again, if people want access services, please you need to push your local, um, can we say, healthcare environment. Um, can we say, um, access points to make sure that you get your treatment. Because cancer treatment is as important as taking your blood pressure medicine. And um, I really think that together we can work to make sure things are better and improved. Obviously, there are many solutions, and I'm sure that the powers that be are working day and night to ensure that um, our, our people in our community are well looked after and well treated. But I'm going to say to people in the community, please not to be passive. Don't accept if you can't get help because leaving things just results in, in, in bigger health crises. I mean, in the last two nights, we've admitted two ladies with sickness in their brains, and it's just sad, tragic, and awful. So come forward. Don't accept that if you've got something that nothing can be done and see in what way you can be helped. Expect of your doctors and your nursing teams and of your administrative teams to make sure that there's service provision for people whilst you are still maintaining safe social distancing, mask wearing and sensible health care practice. And at the bottom of this video we'll put the number down for you to contact oncology so that you can make an appointment with them directly. And I think the important thing, Carol, is that if you're an oncology patient, coming to the Helen Joseph Breast Clinic, if you don't have a farm, you're going to have to start all over again. So before you just go to another breast clinic for yeah. help or assistance or advice, find the number below on the video, have your GT number, your blue card, and speak to them directly to make an appointment because going from A to B doesn't mean you're going to get help at B if you're not a patient here. I think that's very important. So the Helen Joseph Breast Clinic, we can make diagnoses, we can script tamoxifen and stradexa, we can't get chemo, we can't get radiation. So if you're on those active treatments, I think the right thing is to phone CMJ, and I do believe that the treatment is a Chris Honey Barrett in the world. Okay, so here we go. Okay, but make sure you access help. And if you have problems, you can always pop us a DM, a direct message on Facebook, and we'll see if we can assist or advise. Okay. Thanks, Carol.